Hola amigos, hello friends. The captain is back with a new video on COVID-19 affecting employment around the world. It is unthinkable to evaluate how many of the labor markets and conducts to identify the people and places most powerless are hit by the first wave effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. People who are surviving paycheck to paycheck. Friends do not have monetary support to engulf a shock of this magnitude. You can imagine that. Virus is likely to affect professionals working in marketing, sales, operators, labor class and production domains as many huge companies are implementing regulations to diminish the spread of coronavirus illness in the country. Friends, keep watching this video as you will get a fair idea of how COVID-19 is a threat to the working class. Please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you. Friends, the most important sector is the import and export sector, causing major deficits in the availability of goods. Many states are also prohibiting access to in-dining restaurants, theatres, concert halls, some retail stores and other non-essential businesses where the large group of people risk coming into close contact with one another. No matter where in the world or which divisions we are, crisis is having an astonishing influences on the world's workforce. Those detected to the virus are been notified to self-quarantine for at least 14 days, presenting financial challenges for workers without paid sick, sick leave. Friends, healthcare professionals is a key component in the practices today. The saviors of the world, I call them heroes. Friends, many workers are employed in the sectors identified as being at high risk of drastic and devastating increases in layoffs and decreases in wages and working hours. Many are in low paid, low skilled jobs where a sudden loss of income is destroying their family needs. Although the financial effect has not yet been felt in agriculture, the biggest sector in most developing countries are the shortage of food. Labors and business are facing disaster in both progressive and developing economies. We have to move fast, quick and together as a team. The right urgent measures could make the difference between survival. Friends, some regions like Africa have higher levels of informality which combined with the lack of social protection, increased population density and vulnerable capabilities pose terrible health and economic challenges for government. Numerous neighborhood businesses have been shut down there. Trips to the grocery stores have to be carefully intended. Many parents are working remotely from home with their kids on site. This aspect will determine whether the downturn attends a U-shape with an extended trench or a V-shape with a strong upward rebound. In all scenarios, the depth of the recession appears likely to surpass that of any experienced my friends in World War II. Guys, all they need is quick assistance to pay the rent, keep the lamps on and put food on the table for their families. Many business will reopen and rehire but others may not be able to stay afloat. Friends, some laborers have already been let go permanently. Many companies that are staying open are slashing pack hours in conclusion to falling market or deploying laborers to other odd responsibility. The WHO analysis reveals that lockdowns disproportionately affect low income laborers. In addition, many of the lowest paid workers who are still working may be jeopardizing disclosure to the virus as they execute vital duties in the economy today. Travel 
has also fell to a standstill, cancelling many flights, emptying out hotels and tourist attraction. By distinction, expenses could be much more contained in primary sectors such as utilities, agriculture and mining. Employee with underlying health conditions and aged people are most at risk of developing serious health issues. Friends, women are overrepresented in more affected areas such as services or in duties that are at the front line of dealing with the pandemic like nurses. Women are also have less admission to social protection. Please note and will bear a disproportionate obligation in the care economy. In the case of closure of schools or care systems. Let us talk about some advantages taken by companies. Many companies are facing financial trouble around the world, so they tend not to pay workers because during this pandemic, industries know there will be no impact or penalty if they delay the wages or don't pay workers. That's funny, right? Without reasonable policy criteria, workers face a high risk of falling into poverty and will encounter greater challenges in recouping their livelihoods during the healing period. Guys, please be careful of hackers and cyber scams who are taking advantage of COVID-19 pandemic by sending fraudulent emails and WhatsApp messages that strive to trick you into clicking malicious links and opening attachments. These actions can disclose your username and password which can be used to steal money or sensitive information. Remember guys, the WHO will never ask you for username or password to access safety information or never will mail with any attachments you didn't ask for. Never will ask you to visit any link outside of www.who.int that's on the screen. They will never charge money to apply for a job, register for a conference or reserve a hotel. As we all know, this fraudulent action is called phishing. So in COVID-19 versus unemployment, solution number one, in emergencies like COVID-19 pandemic, a company can assure the ultimate result and list the risk by sticking to a command and control system with quick execution. Number two, leaders can line up the solutions by appointing response leadership team action teams, internal and external communication teams, tech management, teams for collecting, comparisons, assurance, circulation of data and inscription within the company. Number three, it is the obligation of the senior leaders to confirm that they offer the commitment to correct people who can make correct crisis responses. Number four, the final responsibility is to deal with every human tragedy with empathy. Number five, senior executives must reach out to particular employees to broaden their emotional backing. But that is exactly what is most necessary during these difficult times, don't you think so? It is time for them to show their human side. Even a simple motivating email each day, sorting precautionary tips and organizing work from home infrastructures are also part of a true leadership job. Guys, large-scale integrated strategy measures are needed focusing on four pillars. The most important pillars, friends, number one is funding businesses. 
employment and incomes boosting the economy and jobs and the most conserving works and workers in the workplace the big companies are struggling a lend money which will in turn go to employers in the form of loans loans my friend with the intention that a company will then use the funds to pay their workers i hope it is very critical that companies do not pass on this responsibility of reimbursement of the same from the workers friends restaurant workers they have foundations there is a community in particular in using donations both to provide zero interest loans to business to help them reopen and create a relief fund for individual workers facing economic hardship if it's you every time it's you who can donate food to the needy please go ahead and do the needful i request landlords please don't charge them rents till the situation reverses as so many people suffering sudden income loss this month making rent or mortgage payments difficult for thousands micromanagement is the duration of the crisis there are many foundations that we all can donate which has been shown on the screen please take a note of that friends we have to fight this crisis together as a team and look ahead to have a better world please subscribe to my channel press the bell icon and thank you very much once again thank you